curved device safe with this case. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile Reviews A. .ca. Hey guys, it's Aaron from Mobile Reviews 8.ca and today we're going to do the full review for the Pelican Vault CE 1180. Now we've done a review for this case already, but we did it probably about eight months ago and we did have the A rating system back then. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. So based on the rating system and our usage, and we've been using this case actually for quite a while now, we give this case a score of 3.8 A's out of 5. For the design category, this case scores a 3.8A out of 5. Now in terms of the weight and bulk, we initially thought this was a very heavy and really bulky case, but after reviewing some of the other cases that we uh, have reviewed, this one actually isn't too bad. It's pretty thin for a ruggedized case, which is really nice given that you know the iPhone 5 and 5S itself, they're very thin phones and this kind of keeps that thinness. In terms of the ease of installation this is one of the most difficult cases to install. It's got screws and you're told to like clip things in and there's three parts to it so to get your phone into this case is quite a hassle and to take it out is equally as hassling. Hassily? It's equally as painful. In terms of the build quality, the build quality of this case is fairly high. It feels like that it looks and feels that Pelican put a lot of efforts into designing this case. The plastic that this case is made out of is the same kind of plastic that all the other, pe other Pelican cases are made out of and they're guaranteed for life. So if you were to like snap this in half, Pelican will give you a new case. From our understanding anyways. In terms of the protection category, we give it 4 A's out of 5. If you need something pretty tough, this is not a bad case to get. This is one of the very few cases, actually it's the only case up until this point that we've skipped it like a rock in a pond. Uh, you can see that video, it's either in the annotations or it's on our channel. Just look for skipping it like a rock, CE 1180. So in terms of droppability, this is a very droppable case. Now, one of the criteria for droppability is for the case to maintain its shape and not to show a lot of wear and tear. And there is some nicks and some scratches here and there. In terms of the water resistance, this thing, certain aspects of it are very water resistant, other aspects are not. We did a full uh, water resistance test by, you know, sprinkling it with water and whatnot. And the edges between the front panel and the back panel, that's kind of where the water gets in. The bottom of here, where all the latch covers are, this is actually pretty water resistant. So all in all, if you were out in the rain and it gets a little wet, your phone's going to be okay. But if you're tossing it if you accidentally drop in the bathroom or in a puddle or whatnot you might be screwed because well water will get in and second of all you wouldn't be able to take the case apart on the spot to dry out your phone water's going to be sitting inside the case and your phone's going to go in terms of screen protection we didn't notice any scratches on it when we skipped it like a rock and the screen protector does a very good job of repelling or not showing the fingerprints so certain screen protectors you know if you got a really greasy face, you'll have this giant greasy mark on your uh, touch screen or the screen protector. It, it, this screen protector doesn't do that, and it's it's actually really neat. In terms of functionality, we gave this case a score of 3.8 A's out of 5. Generally, you can use this phone fairly well like it was a naked device, but there's a few things that are really good about it, and there's a few things that are really awful about it. And in terms of the functionality, getting to all the various buttons and whatnot, not a problem. You know, got your usual volume buttons, your power button, and you've got this really big mute ringer switch. And I actually started to use it a lot because, well, it protrudes out so much. Accessing the ports is fairly easy. You've got these latches at the bottom, and you can easily plug in your uh, headphones and your Lightning port connectors. Screen usability, it's not bad. It's not great. Again, you've got this raised lip. And the lip is actually pretty high because there's a piece of metal and then there's some foam that's squishes against your uh, phone and so there's probably a good quarter of an inch lift off of the screen of the device and the edge of the case but one of the redeeming features is that this edge doesn't go right up until the edge of the touch screen so you've got a bit of space between where the touch screen ends and where the edge actually starts so you can kind of wedge your finger or your, the meaty part of your thumb into that corner to get to the buttons that you need to get to. In terms of the viewability of the case, one of the nice things is that this screen protector doesn't produce a lot of glare. But then on the flip side, it diffuses the retina screen of the iPhone 5 and 5S. So it's kind of a toss-up. You get no glare, but you, you kind of see pixels. So 
good and bad. Again, we gave this case a score of 3.8 A's out of 5. It, pro it provides a decent level of protection and if you're looking for something that's you know not off the shelf out of one of the big box stores like a Otter Box or a Life Proof, this is a pretty unique case and for the most part it gets the job done. Really the only knock against it is the diffusion of the screen and so many parts to install. If you have any questions about this case, leave them in the comments section below. I'm Aaron the Ho. Uh, I'm a reviewer for mobilereviewsa.ca. Find us on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and keep your device safe with this case. In terms of the so in terms of design, the weight and bulk of the seriously, bell. You need a bell. You need a bell. Really, a bell. God.